Mid-September means classes are in full swing at Montana State University. In this fall, the Gallatin City County Health Department will be reporting on a weekly basis the number of COVID-19 cases associated with the university. I think there might be a misperception that somehow there's this parallel system that MSU is testing and running its tests and doing contact tracing separate from what the health department is doing. That's not the case. The Gallatin City County Health Department and Montana State University want to make a few things clear. First, the county is dealing with MSU cases exactly the same way as other cases across the area. Regardless of where they're tested, their test results go to the same sorts of places that anybody else's test results go. So the Gallatin City County Health Department is releasing the number of COVID-19 cases associated with the university on a weekly surveillance report. That includes all the cases that are being reported to the health department uh, at Montana State and it breaks them down by the number of cases that are active, the number that are recovered, and the number of new cases we've had since the last reporting period. Last week it reported three active cases at MSU, which are encouraging numbers and we're happy to see them that low. And while the numbers appear to be low as of last week, the health department says there are lots of variables in trying to assess the situation at MSU. How many people have mild symptoms or no symptoms that are walking around that might be carrying the disease? because they're not likely to get tested and they're not likely to come up as a positive case. And so that is a limitation. Um, that's a limitation nationally, and that's what makes part of what makes this virus so difficult to deal with. And MTN News will be reporting on those numbers as they become available. Reporting in Bozeman, Gabby Crevett, MTN News.